Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C++ program to reverse a number. Now here in this program, we will ask the user to enter an integer number. And let's say the user is going to enter the number one, two, three. So in order to reverse this number, what we have to do is first we have to uh, separate these numbers one by one. First, we have to find the last digit. Then we have to find the second digit and then we have to find the uh, first digit and then we have to reverse it you know we have to calculate the reverse number so since the number entered by the user uh, will be in the decimal number system what we do is as long as this number is greater than zero uh, we will start dividing it by 10 so if the user is going to enter one two three then we will start dividing it by 10 so we will check out the remainder value and the quotient value in this case the quotient is 12 so it will be 120 and the reminder will be 3. If you look at this, then the quotient is 12, reminder is 3 and the number is 1 to 3. So the last digit is present in the reminder variable. The remaining two digits are present in the quotient value. And after that, to separate this other two numbers, which is 12, we again divide it by 10. So if you perform 12 by 10, now we get the quotient as one, the remainder as two. So we have the remainder two this time. And here, if you look at this, then two is the second digit of this one, two, three. And this one is the first digit, which is the quotient value. And again, we will divide it. That is one divided by 10. We get the um, quotient as zero and the remainder as one. So as long as we get the quotient as a non-zero value, we will divide the quotient value and we can separate the number. So we will be using this logic to separate the numbers and we will write the program. So here first we write the program and then uh, after running this, I'm gonna explain how the logic will work. So I have written some code in here in C++. I have included the iostream header file and I have mentioned that we will be using the components of the std namespace and then I have written the main function which is the entry point of our program. So the first thing that we do is we will declare the variables that we need. The first variable is for storing the number entered by the user to reverse and I'm going to call that variable as number. The second variable that we need is for storing the reminder value that we are going to calculate and the next variable that we need is for storing the reversed number that we are going to calculate. So I'm going to call it as real number and I will initialize this with a value of zero. Now after that we will ask the user to enter an integer and after that we will read the number using c in and we will store that in our number variable. Now we know the number to reverse so we will uh, separate the numbers we will calculate the reverse number. So what we do is we will start dividing the number entered by the user by 10 and we will check out the reminder value first. So we will perform number modulus operator and 10 and we get the reminder value. We will store that in our reminder variable. Okay. Now we have the reminder value. Now, after getting the reminder value, you know, we get the last digit of whatever the number that we are dividing in here. After doing that here, what we do is we will write number divided by 10. When we perform modulus operation in here, we get the reminder value. When we divide the number by 10, we get the quotient value. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to store it in this number variable and I'm going to explain it in a moment. And we will keep on doing this until this number variable will contain a value which is greater than zero. So we will use a while loop in here while and the condition will be as long as number variable is containing a value greater than zero. I just want to format this code now. So now if we run this program and and if we display the value present in this reminder variable, then you know we have the separate numbers in each run but we want to calculate the reverse number. For example, if the user is going to enter one, two, three, then we want to calculate the reverse number that is three to one. We just don't want to display three to one on the screen. If we just wanted to display that, then we can do that by writing the reminder value here. For example, reminder, 
I'm gonna add a space in here. And if we run this code now, for example, uh, one, two, three, you guys can see we get three to one. If I remove this space now, and if I run this in here, now uh, two, three, four, you guys can see 432 but here we are just displaying that string value so we don't have that number present in a um, in a in a variable you know we don't have that number so in order to calculate that number what we do is i'm going to write the code first and then i'm going to explain it later we will write reverse number equal to reverse number multiplied by 10 plus reminder so I'm going to run this program first and then I'm going to explain how this logic will calculate the uh, reverse number. So what we are doing is uh, we have initialized the reverse number in the beginning to zero. Then uh, with every iteration of this loop, we are multiplying whatever the number present in the reverse number by 10 and to that number we are adding the reminder value. And again we are storing that in the reverse number variable. So outside this while loop i'm going to display the uh, value present in the reverse number variable so here i'm going to write in reverse number is and uh, we will display that to the screen okay now i'm going to run this program first enter an integer i'm going to enter 456 we get reverse number is 654 now you may be asking like okay in the previous run here uh, we entered 234 we got 432 so it was the reverse number so what's the difference between the previous one and this one in the previous run we are just displaying the each numbers in reverse order but right now we have that number present in a variable so let us see how this program will work let's assume that the user is going to enter the number 4 5 and 6 so number variable is going to contain 4, 5, 6 and in this program we have reverse number variable and we have initialized that with a value of 0. So we come to this while loop part after taking the input from the user after this scene. So first we check whether number variable is containing value greater than 0. Yes, number is containing 4, 5, 6 which is greater than 0. So we execute the body of this loop. So first we calculate the reminder value. So reminder equal to number modulus 10 number is containing 4 5 6 and when we divide it by 10 the quotient will be 45 and the reminder will be 6 so the reminder value is 6 and in the next line we are calculating the quotient value which will be 45 that is we are dividing number variables value by 10 we get the quotient value which is 45 and what we are doing is we are storing that in this number variable again so number variable was previously containing 4 5 6 and now it will contain only 45 because we are changing that number variables value here in this second line uh, inside the while loop and after that here we are calculating the reverse number so reverse number calculated by using this uh, formula here that is we multiply the value present in the reverse number by 10 and we add the value present in the reminder variable. So in the beginning, for the first iteration of this while loop, reverse number is containing zero. So we are multiplying that by 10. So zero multiplied by 10 plus six, which is the reminder value. So we get zero plus six, which is six. So now after the first iteration, the reverse number will get six. And after that, uh, we go to check this while loop condition whether number variable is containing a value greater than 0 number variable is containing 45 it is greater than 0 so we execute the body of this while loop again so first we calculate the reminder value so 45 divided by 10 so forza 40 reminder is 5 we get the reminder as 5 this time okay and after that we store this quotient value that we get when we divide 45 by 10 in the number variable. So number variable was containing 45 and now it will contain only 4. And after that, we are calculating the reverse number. So it is reverse number multiplied by 10 plus reminder. So reverse number is containing 6 multiplied by 10 plus reminder, which is 5. So it will be 65. So reverse number will get 65. 
and after that again this condition of this while loop is checked whether number variable is containing a value greater than 0 number variable is containing 4 which is greater than 0 so we execute the body of this while loop again so we divide 4 by 10 and we check for the reminder value 0 is a 0 and we get the reminder as 4 so the reminder variable now will get 4 and after that we divide this 4 by 10 and we store the quotient value in this number variable so the number variable was containing 4 and now it will get 0 this quotient value here it will be stored in this number variable and after that we are calculating the reverse number that is reverse number multiplied by 10 plus reminder reverse number was containing 65 so it will be 65 multiplied by 10 plus 4 so it will be 650 plus 4 which is 654 so in the beginning we entered 456 and uh, we have the reverse number calculated which is 654 and after that the while loop condition will fail because number variable is not containing a value greater than 0 because number variable is containing 0 so 0 is equal to 0 and it is not greater than 0 so the while loop will stop we come out of this while loop and this c out statement will display reverse number is the value present in the reverse number variable which is 654 and after that our program terminates so this is how the program will work Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.